Aloha and welcome to this video. Linda and I just celebrated our 25th anniversary by going back to our favorite Hawaiian island. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealakaku, Hawaii. Where the huma huma nuka nuka apawa I go sailing by. Where the huma huma nuka nuka apawa I go sailing by. Now, the flight from Boston to Kauai is quite a long flight. Uh, we left Boston at 8 a.m. and arrived in Lahui at 6.32 p.m. And of course, Hawaii is six hours earlier than we are here in Boston. So the entire flight was 16 and a half hours. By the time we got there and, and got our rental car um, and started driving towards our place, fortunately, the condo was, was only a few miles away from the airport. But it was quite dark and I wasn't that familiar with the area, but fortunately I had been uh, studying Google Maps, satellite maps of the area, so that gave me a good idea of what, what to look for. And when we got to the place, uh, they had given us the codes we needed to get into the gate, because there was a, a gate that uh, prevented most people from getting in. So we had the code for the gate and we had the code for the uh, lockbox on the door so we could get into the condo. There she goes. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to have it. You can do it at night. The first few days uh, in the condo, we, uh, we were, it was kind of, we were expecting it to rain every day. It, it turned out to be nice weather but we mostly spent our time familiarizing ourselves with the area, with the condo itself, and uh, the immediate area, walking down to the beach and walking around the neighborhood. And uh, right now, uh, we're going to see a walkthrough and see exactly what our condo looked like. This is our home away from home. Let's open the door and see what's inside. Let's go into the bedroom. Nice big king size bed. Very nice kitchen. Very nice. And this is a, a dishwasher, fairly new dishwasher. There's even our garbage disposal. In this sink, stove, microwave, uh, refrigerator, of course. Has an ice maker in there. A nice couch here, and then the client the thing if you want to put your feet up, you can sit here. More artwork on the wall. Coffee table. It's kind of a bar kind of a thing. And there was a welcome basket for us. With some Hawaiian goodies in there. Here's the dining area. Nice table, nice glass table with these chairs on wheels. We've got this wonderful table and chairs here and a great view. Look what we have out here. The ocean. Nice and sunny right now too. And we'll finish off the tour with uh, someone over here enjoying the lanai. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Aloha. I love it here. Okay. It's so fun. Something we noticed right away, there are a lot of birds in the area and uh, there's a sign on the on the deck door to not we're not supposed to feed the birds but in spite of that they're constantly landing on the uh, lanai and even walking on the uh, table out there and uh, sometimes serenading to us Thank you, and in addition to birds we also saw geckos a lot and now we're going to take a little walk right around the condo as you can see there's quite a bit of exotic foliage or whatever you want to call it grow, growing around here. Wow. 
huge. Look at all this stuff. And they've got a kind of a garden of uh, fruits and things growing here. Mangoes, we don't know what they are, but something. You can even zoom in on it a little bit. Unless that's lemon. That can't be lemon. Lemon, I agree. Well, they're not right, but I don't know what they are. Is that them? I'm not even sure I'm looking yeah, at them. Yeah. Maybe you can see the other one better because it's against the green. Very tropical. Here's the koi pond. Oh, I see one in there. Oh, yeah. Let me get over here. There's a big, oh, it's a big fella down there. Oh. You see that big fella down there? Oh, <laughs> That's our unit right up there. I'll zoom in on it. It has a little bird on it. I remember I did this once in Kauai and you were up there waving at me, but you're not up there right now. <laughs> and another, some more exotic stuff over here. At night they turn on these, they light these uh, tiki torches over here. And there's quite a, these little, little tiny fishes over here in these little bowls here. Where are they? They're hiding this morning. Huh. There's some very colorful flowers. And uh, the bird of paradise is over here. A lily pond. A lily pad flower. A lily pad flower. A little flower. Yeah. Cool. Okay, here's the beach. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. Yesterday there were a lot of people here swimming and and boogie and uh, oh, there's a, a guy uh, surfing here yesterday. There we are. It's so uh, beautiful. Every day's been beautiful. Let's see what the sky looks like. Well, there's always a lot of clouds. Yep. Maybe one of these days we'll have a clear, clear sky. <laughs> Ooh. But this is a nice little wading pond here. I don't think it's deep enough to really swim in it very much. What is that? Oh, I don't know. Huh. It might be too. Okay, this is the pool. We might try this later on, unless it's going to be a rainy day. It looks like it might rain. I want to show you our view with the tiki torches uh, lit. Maybe you just can see those little glowing spots down there. When we were walking around, uh, there's a path that goes through the uh, kind of forest area in the back there, and that led to uh, a very wonderful uh, restaurant uh, right on the beach called Lava Lava. And uh, we got there on a Friday, so Saturday we went over there and had a nice breakfast at Lava Lava. Oh yes, here's the view. Very nice view. And on the way back, we uh, posed for a selfie. Also on the way back, we saw this uh, nice little cat. And uh, a fairly friendly fellow. And we did notice one time that somebody who was eating some food, somebody had put some food down for him. And we did later on meet this woman who takes care of the cat. And he, she informed us his name was Jethro. And she takes care of him and feeds him. And there's a couple of other cats, Uncle Jed and uh, Ellie Mae. But she takes care of them and uh, makes sure they're okay. I guess there are a lot of uh, feral cats in the islands and in uh, chickens especially. On the island of Kauai, there are a lot of wild chickens. I guess during a hurricane a while ago, a chicken farm, the uh, chickens got blown away and they just have been multiplying ever since. And wherever you go, airports, top of mountains, pretty much anywhere you go, you'll see lots of chickens and you'll hear the roosters crowing all the time. Next day was Sunday, so we got up and got dressed, dressed up, especially Linda, and we went to uh, church. There are several chickens right there in the yard. While we were at church, the uh, first reader of the church uh, gave Linda, I guess he gave uh, several people at the church, maybe just the women, he gave them these very nice uh, flower lays, pua kini kini. When we got around to doing adventures beyond our area, the first place, one of the first places we went to 
was Wailua Falls, which isn't really far. It's only a few miles from where we were. Okay, let's see it from here. How you doing? Wailua Falls is right behind us. We were here 25 years ago. It looked pretty much the same as it did then. <laughs> As I remember, <laughs> driven up to Wailua Falls. Whoops. I almost fell. In 2012, when we came to Kauai, we did not drive up to Wailua Falls, but we did fly over, and uh, Linda got this nice picture of the falls from the airplane. The next thing we did was also not too far from our condo, Lidgate Beach Park. Uh, we had uh, found out that. That maybe we were looking for a good place to go snorkeling. We had gone, picked, we rented some snorkeling equipment that day, and um, that Lydgate was the first place we tried. We had read that it was pretty safe to, to go there. And matter of fact, there is a, a pool area, very large area that is completely surrounded by a stone wall, because most of the beaches in Kauai have very heavy surf, very rough waves, and some of them are protected with reefs, so they're all right for snorkeling and swimming. But this particular beach is a man-made reef, a, a wall of rocks surrounding it, and that large area was a good place for snorkeling. And Linda found that she really loves snorkeling. We're down at Lydgate Park, and we're going to do some snorkeling. Uh, I'm going to go in the water and see what I can see. Hey, Linda. That will pretty much wrap up uh, the adventures for, for our first part here, and we've got a lot more to go. We were there for two weeks, and we're just beginning. 
uh, one of the next big adventures was the bike ride. We had read about and heard about this bike trail, four mile bike trail, right in the town where we were staying, Kapa'a. So we rented bikes and, uh, and I got a video of that and that'll probably be in our next chapter of this adventure. And other things, another major thing that we did was we took a, a boat ride on a catamaran up to the Nepali coast. Uh, and we did some snorkeling up there too, and, and they have these wet caves, and the boat actually went into one of these caves. So it was pretty exciting. And we, went, we drove up to Waimea Canyon, was a, quite a the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. And uh, a number of other things that we did that were pretty good. So uh, I hope you'll come back and uh, watch us next time, and hopefully you enjoy this. Mahalo. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealakaku, Hawaii. I want to be with all the Connies and the Heenies that I knew long ago. I can hear those guitars are playing on the beach at Ho now now. I can hear those Hawaiians saying, Call my my inoka uwa ikka hali velika hali won't be long till my ship will be sailing back to Kona. A grand old place that's always fair to see. I'm just a little boy and a homesick island boy. I'm longing for my fishing pole. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kealakaku, Hawaii. Where the huma huma nuka nuka up a what I go sailing by. Where the huma huma nuka nuka up a what I go sailing by.